Good day, everyone. Welcome to the MDNews.com Minute. I'm Charlie Milburn. Researchers at the Columbia University College of Dental Medicine have uncovered a genetic variation in some people that raises the risk of developing osteonecrosis of the jaw, or ONJ, if they take bisphosphonates, commonly used to treat osteoporosis. The study recently appeared in an online version of The Oncologist. Currently, oral bisphosphonates are taken by approximately 3 million women in the United States for the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. Intravenous bisphosphonates are used by thousands of cancer patients to control the spread of bone cancer and prevent hypercalcemia. Dr. Zavris, lead author of the study, says these drugs have been used for years and considered safe. However, there are cases of patients taking the osteoporosis drug who develop ONJ in the process. While there are no hard facts linking ONJ with bisphosphonates, the number of ONJ cases is estimated to be between 1 in 1,000 and 1 in 100,000 for each year of exposure to the medication, according to the American College of Rheumatology. Cancer patients taking the intravenous form of the drug seem to be at an even higher risk of developing ONJ, affecting 5-10% to 10 of these patients. This discovery has identified the need for a genetic screening test to determine who can safely use these drugs. Dr. Zavris and his team studied 30 patients taking bisphosphonates who developed ONJ and compared them with other patients who had not developed the disease. Patients with a small variation in the RBMS3 gene were 5.8 times more likely to develop ONJ than those without a gene variation. Researchers also identified two other genes that could contribute to ONJ risk. You're now up to date with the MDNews.com Minute. This is Charlie Milburn. Thanks for watching.